Friday the 9th of February. We're in York. We were just at the Railway Museum. Chatting to the curators. Why were you in a space suit? It's one small step for me. Because they have um, Tim Peake's space pod that um, I think he came back down to Earth in. It's very cool. One small step for women. Do you want to go and get a train? Yes. Do, you want, do you want to go to somewhere very special? Where would you like to go to? Poppleton. Sorry? Poppleton. And? Nearsborough. And? Uh, oh. Now that's it. <laughs> Why are we going back to Nersborough? Uh, to see the viaduct in the river and the station, but not when it's raining. Vicky, although I can see that that's a class 150 sprinter, beyond it, <laughs> is this it? Are you back on a pacer for the first time since Chat Hill? It's actually a half sprint to half pace, isn't it? Don't ruin it for me, Jay. with our friend Roger the other day who was on a pacer about introducing the concept of pacer points you know for every mile travelled on a pacer all right you get a point what would this add up to I don't know but someone's already registering the website the domain www.pacerpoints.com yeah that's me I'm doing it on my phone <laughs> like rail miles but, but just for pacers and then there should be a league table as to who's travelled on the most pacers <laughs> before they go because now they're going then they're on their way Which out while sad is good because that means that new trains that come in will be accessible for people who who, <laughs> who can't access their paces. And, and also this might mean that on my YouTube channel, whenever I talk about Crossrail, the flood of comments that I get, people going, London always gets all the trains, when does the North has still got paces? But now we can say the paces are going, and so the, those comments will will dry up. Could we buy one and turn it into like a shed? We should turn a pacer into this. Should, people should turn them into like a, like, like a cafe. We could turn it into a into an all the stations merch shop. Anyway, pacer points. It should be a thing. Last time we last time we came here, it was very, <laughs> very rainy. Even though we were here last time, it's amazing how we missed things because we were so focused on. We did the picture framers and the BBC were here and we did the viaduct. But look, there's a nice little picture over there of the railway tunnel. And over here, there's a railway signal presented to Nairsborough. It's an old semaphore signal. We completely missed that last time. So even though we've been here before, we missed stuff. There's also quite a long bench. Did you notice the really long bench on the other platform? Not as long as Scarborough's, but it's... it's we wouldn't know we didn't sit on Scarborough's. I know, Scarborough's. I know. But look, that's a long bench, man. I'm just going to check Twitter. Um, I've got my drone in my bag. So I, th I think that the fair thing to do would be I'll do the drone shots and you go to the castle. Oh, if I have to. <laughs> is, that, is that a deal? I'm, 
This is the ceremonial handing over of the camera. Reach out your hand. It's really cold. <laughs> it is, it is really cold. <laughs> right, so I'll see you back here at five. Okay. Five o'clock? Yep. 5.15 back to York. Bye. Bye. Nairsborough has these incredible, these incredible old buildings and, uh, and windy streets. The Castle Inn, that must mean the castle's around here somewhere. Oh, the Castle Courtyard. I think it might be. It doesn't look very castle-ish. a ruin but it's still got these incredible arched windows and doorways and in the sunlight um, it's very impressive some point a train is going to come across here. So Knaresborough Castle was built in and around the 1100s and is probably most well known for being the refuge of the assassinators of Thomas Beckett. Another interesting thing is that during the Civil War, Parliament was going to tear the castle down, but the local people uh, asked for the King's Tower to be kept as a prison, and that is why um, it wasn't demolished and why, why it's still standing, or parts of it are still standing today. Vicky's back. How's the castle? Vicky's back. How's the castle? It's good, but I was so cold. Hang on. Stop. Stop. Where's, where's my tea? I texted you and you said you didn't want yeah, one. Yeah, I missed you actually, because <laughs> I'll get one on the train home. All right. It's so pretty and beautiful here. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Should we move to Nairsborough? Yes. <laughs> Our friend Ruth is just down the road. Yeah, that would be fun. That'd be great. Ruth is now looking on the <laughs> suit of someone else to live. Ruth is watching this video going, what? They're moving <laughs> to Nesborough. <laughs> You're having a railway infrastructure moment. I Sorry, I railway. Just go, <laughs> Vicky spotted a sign. This is Nesborough half hourly Sunday service to Leeds by Harrogate. Yeah, so Nesborough is, is sort of the stopping point. So Monday to Friday and Saturday, you get a half an hourly service yeah. from Leeds to Nesborough, and then it's yeah. only hourly from here. I'm pointing to, but you're to, to, to pointing York. In my face. I'm oh, I'm pointing. So when you watch this back, yeah. your hand will just be in my face. Okay. And then, but what? And this is how I point. But what this is how I stand. <laughs> what they're saying is that from. Keep going. This is just how I stand. From, from Sundays, yep. that half an hourly service yep. to Leeds also applies on Sundays. Yep. So that's. Yeah. When I take my finger away, you have to take your hand away. Oh, I'm sorry. So, so but I feel as if. They should have a half an hourly service to York as well. Why does only Leeds get the half hourly service? Why not York? Mm. Come on, Northern. Okay. Do a half hourly service all the way when we're holding. It's a bug hotel. What's a bug hotel? It's a hotel for bugs. So I think the friends of Nairsborough Station are obviously looking after the, the garden area and then they've made a little bug hotel to encourage the bugs to come and stay. It's very cute. Was this here last time? I don't remember this being here last time. 
It makes me want to sing the Ladybug picnic song. How does that go? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ladybugs came to the Ladybug picnic. They all play games at the Ladybug's picnic. They I've never heard that song before. <laughs> they played jump rope, but the rope it broke, so they just sat around telling knock knock jokes. But we've done Nairsburg properly now. Yay. I got my drone shot. You've well, been, you you been to, to the castle. The cave. Oh, we'll come back again I then. Want to go to the cave. <laughs> I want to do everything. The ladybug twelve at the ladybug picnic. Part of me really wants to, you know, do the the old gag of writing in an I, so the word to let becomes toilet. Don't ever do that, kids. <laughs> And, and that's how we're ending the video. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on. Come on. It's okay. There'll be other paces. When you got off the Chat Hill one, you thought that was the end. And look, you've come back to York. There will be other days with other paces. One day, there will be no more paces. But it's not today. There'll be other paces. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Come on! The last step. Go on. Yeah. Okay, that's the last pace you're ever going on. <laughs> Talk about the high price of furniture and rugs and fire insurance for Ladybug. Ladybug 12 at the Ladybug's picnic. 12. It's mostly a, a ruin now, but it is still really impressive. You can see these incredible um, things that I can't find the word for. I haven't done this for a while. <laughs>